And we are live, coming to you from Washington, D.C. We have New York Coin, New York Coin team with us here, coming from all over the place. We have my man Crypto Kid. He is in Montana. We have Gia, who is in Russia. And we have Sten, who is, where are you, Sten? Um, I'm sitting here in North Carolina. Um, and, and it's pronounced Stephen to me. <laughs> oh, step into me. Got it. Step into me. Well, good old North Carolina, you know, that is where uh, I kind of hail from. The uh, If you can s switch the camera on your end, do that now. Because um, I don't think I can here. That okay. uh, my dad uh, retired Army down in uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, when I was five years old. And so we, I basically grew up there. Learned how to ice skate from, uh, learned how to play hockey from the from the soldiers down there. And uh, it's a great place. Parents are still there. So so without further ado, uh, guys, you know, New York Corn, we've been around for a long time. Uh, I know uh, we've, we've gone through a lot of ups and downs uh, together as a group. What are their 2,300 coins now on uh, coin market cap or something like that? So... Um, let, maybe let's let you, uh, uh, Crypto Kid, kind of uh, lead off here. What I tell me a little bit about New York Coin. What got you started, and, um, and 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 what is the current state of the coin at this point? <clears throat> Definitely, yeah. So uh, New York Coin is a proof of work cryptocurrency script. Uh, it's script. Any any point of sale transaction, we want to be a part of that, um, whether it's online or in a brick and mortar. Um, we're building out solutions and we're building out a infrastructure right now that um, makes it extremely easy uh, for merchants to accept New York coin. Um, we're future proofing, uh, if you will, at this current stage. Um, cool. We've, we've had our ups and downs as pretty much every cryptocurrency has had. Um, but with that, um, we've been able to take that and build a very good security infrastructure for our coin. We have many um, different security measures in place that allow us to monitor the network effectively to prevent things like 51 per, potential 51% attacks and things of that nature. Um, our, our team is extremely good at uh, keeping an eye on it, the gatekeepers we call them. Um, as far as future plans, like I said, we're future-proofing the coin right now. So we're onboarding with a lot of different point of sale uh, applications, whether it's like coin to pay or cryptocurrency checkout. Um, we're looking to onboard with those. The more, the better, uh, the more options that we can provide to the merchants. Um, we're also, cool. bu we're also building out our own point of sale application, which will eventually be available on iOS and Android. And what that will be is pretty much inventory management and point of sale all in one. So when you think of like the Square app that that uh, mm -hmm. that people use, you, you can you can manage your inventory and accept payments, but it's going to be solely for New York Coin, so that merchants who want to accept it can do that. You uh, mentioned that, of course, you you're, you're making it so that it can be used easily in transactions, and you mentioned point of sale as if it was a uh, brand, but maybe I got that wrong. I understand you're oh, building yeah. it for your yourself, but I wanted to un take that out of the box first. Right. So essentially, when I say point of sale, I'm, I'm referring to any transaction um, in retail commerce. So a po point mm -hmm. of sale is 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 essentially in a grocery store is that cash. Yep. It's that cash register and it's the software that powers mm -hmm. that cash register. It manages the is it manages the inventory of the store and it, yep. and it and it manages the cash in cash out debit in pretty much all the financial transactions that happen. What we're mm -hmm. building is equivalent to a cryptocurrency point of sale. So instead, yep. of, so it, it it would be the underlying right. technology in accepting the coin. This was kind of like our own BitPay for New York Coin. Sure, sure. And you're going to use QR codes and, and and this type of thing. Yeah, that's you know that's really the answer, right? I mean, uh, when Coinbase uh, came out with their card, which of course they don't have anymore, but um, and I could take my wife out to dinner and pay on my card. That really kind of changed a, a lot of a lot of things for. Crypto for me in particular, um, but I think I think for a lot of people, I mean that that's really the deal. You know, it's a it's an electronic payment system. We need to be you know be able to pay it. So that is fantastic uh, that you guys are putting that together. You have a great team, obviously. Uh, now, I, when I was looking at the uh, Coin Market Cap chat uh, chart, it looked like there was a a big uh, event 
that happened a while back. So did you guys do a reverse fork or some type of fork or anything like that with the coin? So in, I think it was October of 2018, um, we hard forked. Yes, we did. Okay. And we hard forked. And what that was is um, that was a hard fork for many different reasons. We implemented um, DigiShield, um, mm -hmm. which, which replaced the old uh, Komodo Gravity well. And then also what we did with the hard fork is we implemented an inflation reduction plan. So now what happens is we have a halvening before there was no halvening. So like with Litecoin, you just had a halvening where the block rewards cut in half. Yes. Um, we implemented that into our code base. So now um, to, to help with the, the mass amounts of inflation. New York coin network, yeah, the inflation, yeah. the mass amounts getting mined daily. Um, we've, we've reduced that block reward three times now since the hard fork. And <laughs> essentially it's going to okay. be down to about 50 New York coin um, at the end of the that. You know, it really does make a big difference. I, I'm glad to hear, you know, because that's, uh, I think it's one of the issues with Dogecoin or the doggy coin, as I, as I like to call it, is, um, I, as I remember, and you, you're an OG as well, but there was a certain point back in the day when they decided there was an infinite amount of Dogecoin uh, that were going to be produced. And so be that being that the case, I, I don't know how high it'll go. Now, that being said, I might eat my words and, uh, you know, it goes up to a thousand Satoshi. Who knows? or more, uh, because that's the way these currencies work. You just don't know. But certainly with my coin, the Global Boost coin, uh, we had our having recently, we we're about to have our uh, five-year uh, anniversary, September 14th, I think. And um, that has significantly uh, taken a pressure off of the markets. And uh, and I, I, I see us, uh, you know, kind of popping up. So that is pretty interesting. So, and what algorithm are you guys using? <laughs> the uh, The algorithm is script. Cool. Yeah. Good old script. Script proof right. of work. Yep. Good old stuff. Yep. I, I know. Well, you know, the mining is also such an important part of the ecosystem and people sometimes discount it. And I always tell them, you know, discount proof of work at your own peril because you're going to bring in with a proof of work coin investors that you're never going to have. They're never going to buy some token or this and that. And even like a lot of companies, they want me to advise them and this and that. And then they don't want to hear what I have to say. Because I'll tell them, guys, your tokenomics don't make sense. Right. You're valuing yourself at a hundred million dollars. Nobody's gonna buy your token. Okay. You're you're valuing yourself at a hundred million dollars. Look at New York coin, look at Global Boost, look at different companies that have been around for a long time with market caps. I mean, it's not even a you know, not even similar at all to what they're talking about. And yep. uh, and you know, people, we have a now a uh, investor that is um, smart. You know, it's not a year or two years ago where people didn't understand. People understand tokenomics now. Oh, they yeah. They understand that if you have 100 million coins floating around and they're valued at, you know, two cents, it's different than if they're valued at eight cents. It doesn't matter what you bring it up to. So, mm -hmm. so that is really cool. I, I love the point of sale thing. Uh, hopefully we can hop in on that too, man. That would be, that would be pretty awesome. I, I really, uh, one of the things I would like to do with the Washington elite summit is bring a lot of us OG guys and all these other coins together. We're going to be focusing a lot on merger and acquisition as well. So I, I really want you guys to come. It's in the palace in Vienna and shown shown Brun palace, uh, Vienna, Austria, October 11th, 12th would be totally awesome. Now let's, uh, take this out of the uh, box for you guys on what's your next 30 days, 60 days, uh, 90 days look like for you. What do you have planned? I know Gia has you guys on different boxes in the mall and everything else. I'm like, <clears throat> dude, you guys are killing it. So tell me a little bit about all that. All right. So essentially let, let's start with 30 days. So 30 days out right now, we're since there was no pre-mine and there's no ICO or anything like that, uh, with New York coin, a lot of, of what we try to accomplish that requires fees and such, we do fundraising for that. Um, okay. so, so that we can, we can continue to say we are truly a community driven cryptocurrency. Um, nice. when, when the community decides on something or when we present something to the community and we ask for consensus that we mean it, we we're not just saying, we're not just throwing it at them to ask them for, you know, for no reason we want to know you know and so the sure. next 30 days we'll be doing fundraising right now for um cryptocurrencycheckout.com which is a point of sale um retail app they have it's really an interesting platform they allow um 
tips and donations and payments to be received through Twitch. So if you're a Twitch streamer or a YouTube streamer, you can start accepting uh, cryptocurrency and hopefully soon New York coin as we're fundraising for the onboarding for that. And then also we are pushing for donations um, well, votes, but but each vote costs a, a small amount of Bitcoin um, to get listed on South Exchange, which is um, an exchange that we've had in our in our sites for a while, uh, because it provides us with <clears throat> one thing that was in, extremely important uh, when we got on with GraviX, which is it's a it's a exchange that's supported by Pro Hashing, and Pro Hashing provides New York Coin with most of its well not most a good portion of its hash rate. And mm -hmm. um, w the reason that we want South Exchange is because there's there's periods of time when GraviX may go into maintenance or they may have downtime, mm -hmm. and we want to maintain that that hash rate. So South Exchange is is the answer to that. They're another platform who has APIs that Pro Hashing supports, um, and it's it's a it's another market that we'd like to crack into. It's a it's a um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a South American market. I know we're getting to the to the end of our time here. Definitely, but, yeah, uh, we're approaching uh, that time. Definitely. Good. I want to make sure that uh, we can uh, plug everything uh, that we need to. So, what is the website? What's the social media? How do people get a hold of you guys? All right. So, with our uh, website, you can you can head over to nycoin.community. That's kind of our hub. Our roadmap is there. All of our links to our social medias are there. You can find um, all of those on the website on the homepage. Um, you can head to our blog over at blog.nycoin.community. That's another one that has a lot of good information uh, relative to the coin. We put a lot of updates there. Um, on So on Twitter, we're at nycoincommunity. And then on Facebook, we are, I think it's uh, facebook.com slash newyorkcoincommunity. Really cool. Well, thanks. I know uh, we didn't get to talk to everybody so, so much, but it was a great and lively discussion. And folks, uh, New York coin. Check them out. This is one of the small cap coins that's been around for a long time, like I talk about quite a bit. Uh, I won't say the ICO market is dead or the IE market is dead. I don't believe that is dead, but I think a good play is going to be on these small cap coins with active communities here like Gia, Step Into Me, and Crypto Kid. Okay, so check them out. Thanks for, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.